the World Series and why it's all BS and the Super Bowl and um, possibly even the Olympics. Is that a good title? You proud of me? Anyways, so here's what I was thinking on. And I totally into the World Series, totally into the Olympics, totally into the Super Bowl. I love high performance at high levels. So I'm having fun. But I have been thinking on this. And at the end of the day, when you think about these big events, the World Series, the Super Bowl, actually an even better example would be all these Hollywood award shows, the Grammys, the Emmys, the whatever, uh, whatever award show you can think of, it's all made up. Basically, some people or a person said, hey, I'm going to have this thing and I'm gonna call it the World Series. I'm gonna call it the Emmys. I'm going to call it the greatest show on earth. And then somehow, it becomes just that. Think about it, the Super Bowl. I mean, the United States, even parts of the world stops on Super Bowl Sunday to watch the game, more importantly, to watch the commercials. Think about it, the World Series. I mean, it is a bunch of American, American baseball teams, a couple Canadian baseball teams in, in, in Major League Baseball, and they call it the World Series. Now, I recognize there's players from around the world, but it's not like it's a World Series. It's not like it's a series of different world teams from different countries. But it's the World Series. It's all made up. And so here's what I love about this, and here's the message to you. The message to you, and I said this before and I'll say it again, this is why you can play as big as you want. Again, this is why you can play as big as you want is because it's all made up, right? Somebody created the World Series, or maybe a group of people. Somebody or a group of people created the Super Bowl. Someone, shoot, someone even created Christmas. And I'm not here to diminish those things because those things are amazing. I love those things. But my point is, you sitting at home, you sitting at your office, you sitting in your car, you, wherever you may be in the world, can make something up. In this brain, in this head, in this space between your ears, you can think something up. You can literally pull it out of thin air and make it up and have it become something of value that impacts people, that helps people, that entertains people. All of that. It's all made up. The BS is belief systems. Okay? We can choose what we want to believe in. We can choose how we want to move forward. We can make it up. I'm in a car right now, speaking to you, hands free, at a stoplight. I don't know where you are in the world. I'm in Carlsbad, by the way. Somebody made this up. Somebody said, hey, how can we create a way that people communi can communicate together on this thing? I know, we'll call it the internet. And we'll, we'll invent this thing where they can do it without wires. They don't have to be plugged into anything. Wi-Fi. It's all made up. And it's real at the same time. So my question to you is, what are you going to make up that will become real and of value in the future? That's my question. Also, number two. In January, I myself... Dr. Clarence Lee, who's been on my podcast and who's a great friend of mine, and Greg Frederick, we will be conducting a very high level training called Championship Life. It's a live training, business, life, and sport. Business, life, and sport. We are going to open the books on the business. We're gonna open the books on the sport. We are going to open the books on your life and see what it is you want to make up and we will teach you how to live that championship life ongoing because you can be a champion at every level in your life that's what's missing the problem the project is that people are not experiencing or even recognizing 
their wins. We want to help you create more wins and we want to do it in a very healthy, authentic, and real way that you can actually pass on to other people in your community, at your workplace, on your teams, and of course, your family. So with that being said, as you know, I do love you guys, and uh, I'm starting off Wednesday hot. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> that's how I'm coming at you. So I do love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I have a lot of projects coming up for next year. Uh, I am working on another book. It's called More, Better, Happier. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be a little bit down the road, but um, that's it. Um, it's all made up. What are you making up? So are we making up our success? Are we making up our failure? Are we making up our triumphs? Are we making up our victimhood? It's all made up. Use this every day. All right, peace. Catch me on my website, drjasonrichardson.com. Of course, you can message me here or any of the social channels at Real Dr. J. Rich on Twitter and Instagram, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, I want to speak to you. Peace.